In this demo, I will be converting the video Sintel into MP4 so that Windows Phone can play it, then copying the converted video and the subtitle files to the Videos folder on the phone, then showing you how to choose which subtitles to display. So, let's get started. First of all, you will need to drag the video into Handbrake. Once it's loaded, I'm just going to set a few settings in. I'm renaming it to Sintel with a low S so it matches the names of the subtitle files. And I'll be just using Intel QuickSync Video in order to speed up the conversion process a bit, increasing the audio quality from the standard Windows Phone template because it's a bit low quality, I found. Now, the important thing is don't add any subtitles here. They won't have any effect. Windows Phone will not be able to recognize them. So once this is finished encoding, it could take a short while, so I'm just going to have a short break. Now, once it's done, I am going to take it all and copy it over to the phone. Now, once it's done copying, I will show you what I'm seeing on the phone using the Project My Screen app, which Microsoft has provided to allow you to see what's happening on the Windows Phone screen once it's plugged into the computer. So, now it's just copying all the subtitles over and it's done. Right. Here we are, now you open Xbox Video, scroll down to the video. I have tested this before, so I just know it works. Select the video. To access the subtitle files, you click on the small cog just here, and the top option is used to select the subtitles. Here I've got half a ton of them, as you can see all the French, Italian, Polish, so I'll quickly select the German just to show you how it, what it looks like with a German. Find a spot where subtitles are actually there, and there they are. They appear at the bottom of the screen. Let's just find another spot where they appear. Here we go. And then, in order to change the subtitles, you simply go to the cog tap what you need, press back twice, and there we go. Now this should work for pretty much any video format that Windows Phone supports, but I've only tested it with MP4. So, I hope this has helped.